Imagine your organization uses Looker Studio reports to visualize its data. Your org also uses Google Analytics to track metrics across multiple product features. The metrics all share the same schema, but each stakeholder wants to see a report pertaining to their own product features metrics. How do you go about creating a report per stakeholder without repeating yourself and while maintaining consistency between each report? With the Looker Studio Linking API, you can create a custom URL that will automatically generate a customized Looker Studio report using a template. Hi, welcome to our video series on developing with Looker and Looker Studio. I'm Jeremy, a Senior Developer Relations Engineer at Looker. In this video, we'll get you started with developing with the Looker Studio Linking API. We'll introduce you to what the Looker Studio Linking API is, what its use cases are, and lastly, we'll teach you how to build a linking API URL. By the way, a quick knowledge check. You should be familiar with Uniform Resource Locators, or URLs for short, and how to form them. You should also be familiar with using Looker Studio Reports and Looker Studio Connectors. So, what is the Looker Studio Linking API? It is a reliable interface to programmatically create Looker Studio reports configured to your stakeholders' needs. First, you create a linking API URL. Then, when your user navigate to the URL, they land on a new Looker Studio report configured with its data source and other parameters. Then, the user can save the report and revisit it at any time. To your user, it's a streamlined, personalized experience to quickly view and interact with their data with one click. So, what can you use the Looker Studio's Linking API for? You can use it to create a one-click report creation experience for your stakeholders. You can simplify report creation for your users so they don't have to manually build a report. You can also create multiple reports at scale by programmatically calling the Linking API URL to duplicate or create new reports without doing it manually. Lastly, you can integrate the Looker Studio Linking API into application workflows to auto-generate reports. Now, how do you build a Linking API URL? Before you build the URL, you need to determine which report to use as a template. We highly recommend you use an existing report to make the most out of the Linking API. It can be one you've created, or report from Looker Studio's public report gallery. Let's break down the parts of the linking API URL you need. First, you have the base URL, which you must use for every linking API URL. The base URL consists of the protocol, HTTPS, the domain, lookerstudio.google.com, and the path, reporting, forward slash, create. Then, the subsequent query parameters of the linking API URL determines what report to use as a template and how to configure the report. You need to keep track of three kinds of query parameters, control, report, and data source query parameters. The control query parameters control the state of the generated report when the user navigates to the linking API URL. For example, the most important parameter is c.reportID, which determines which Looker Studio report to use as a template. The idea of a Looker Studio report comes from the report's own URL. There are other useful control query parameters, like c.pageID, which determines what page your user will first land on in the generated report. Note that all the control query parameters are prefixed with the letter C period for readability and convenience. The other types of query parameters we will discuss in the video also follow the same naming convention. Next you have report query parameters that set properties on your generated report. First, you have the r.report name parameter, which as the name suggests, sets the name of your report. Then you have both the r.measurementID and r.keyMeasurementID parameters, which enable you to use Google Analytics to measure and track your report usage. Lastly, you have the data source query parameters. These parameters configure the data source in the generated report. Each type of data source from Google Analytics to Looker to Community Connectors have their own specific set of data source query parameters that configures the data source. 
However, they all share a common set of parameters, so let's go over a few of those. Also, keep in mind, for data source query parameters, we follow the same naming convention as the other query parameters. However, we also include the alias of the data source in the prefix. You can find the alias in your report's list of its data sources. If the alias of a data source is ABC, then the prefix will be ds.abc. For the rest of this video, we will use alias as the alias. For the common data source query parameters, you have the refresh fields parameter, which if true, configures Looker Studio to one, check for any schema changes, and two, update the fields of data source in the generated report. This gives you the flexibility to accommodate schema changes in an underlying data source when generating a new report. Another important parameter to consider is the connector parameter. If you set this parameter, the linking API URL will replace the data source with what's configured in your data source query parameters. Or else, if the parameter is not set, then instead the original data source will be preserved and will be updated with your data source parameters. For this video, let's dive into a few specific data source query parameters for just the BigQuery data source. With the type parameter, you can configure the BigQuery data source to either pull data from a BigQuery table with the table value, or pull data from a SQL query with the custom query value. You can use the SQL parameter to define the query the Looker Studio connector will use to pull the data and fields. Or you can also use the SQL replace parameter to selectively update the template's data source's original query. There are many possibilities with just the BigQuery parameters. We've only covered a few of the available query parameters, but we hope our example demonstrate the flexibility of the Looker Studio linking API. For a comprehensive list of all parameters, especially for other Looker Studio connectors, check out our documentation linked in the description below. We hope we gave you a good understanding of how you can develop with the Looker Studio linking API. It's a great way to programmatically generate reports at scale tailored to your stakeholder needs. If you want to get started, try out these couple steps. Create a Looker Studio report and try generating a report off it with the linking API URL. Also, consider creating a template report and submitting it to our public gallery so others can try it out. We've linked to the documentation for both in the description below. Look forward to more videos as we introduce you to the other ways you can develop on Looker and Looker Studio. We'll see you in the next one.